This model right here was 3D printed without using any type of filament because it was printed using the palette. I'm here with Victor. He's the operations manager of Creality in Brazil and he's going to explain to us a little bit how this really different printer right here works. Okay, this we call an FGF printer. Uh, it uses pellets to break the production. And at least in Brazil, the pellets is like 25% uh, of the cost of a filament. So you can cut a lot of the cost of the, during the process. Uh, and this printer, it's suitable like, with carbon fiber pellets, uh, PLA, PETG, TPU. So you can make even uh, flexible things like your, the tire you have in the hands yeah. or like things like that, you know? Yeah. And here you can see, Another interesting thing of this machine, uh, the layers and the size of the nozzles. Take a look. You can use the 0.8 until 4 millimeters. So it means, if you see this, this hole here, means you can print a lot of material in less time. Uh, it's a very good solution for industry, industries. Uh, if you are working with mold injection, you are already buying tons of pellets to make the, the, the injection. So you can go, go to induce, take the, some pellets and make the prototype in your Awesome. a new solution you know so just kind of grab a little bit of the pellets that you already have and put it into your 3d printer yeah and indeed, indeed <laughs> and exactly. print it yourself so to summarize when they are manufacturing the so filament cool. what they use Sounds is awesome. actually the pellet so they get the pellet and they make the filament what this does is kind of cuts the process of creating the filament in order for you to print it because you put the pellet already inside it melts it down and this is a regular extruder right uh, it's a regular uh, it's it's like a regular extruder but here we have a screw and the screw will go is make the pressure to the pellets going down uh, in the filament printer you have the, the the gears that will make the traction and put uh, push the filament down right and here's like a screw you know it's like uh, so making the screws turning and then pushing all exactly, the exactly exactly make pressure to the filaments to the the pellets go out exactly yeah and if you're you're looking at this and you're thinking what is PioCreate and why are we talking with a Creality guy about PioCreate but what is PioCreate? Uh, PioCreate is a, is a subsidiary from Creality, uh, but they work with industry solutions. So when you are thinking about consumer goods, it's Creality. Okay. But if you think industry products, it, it will be PioCreate. Nice. Uh, we have not only the FGF, but we have also uh, big printers like like the G12 that have 1.2 meters for one uh, for one meter. Uh, and we have another solution that's called G40. Uh, it's a printer that have 3.2 meters to wow. 2.7 uh, wow. to 1.3 meters. You can print a bolt And it's the also a CNC machine. Oh my God. It's not only a printer, it's a CNC machine and a printer combined. So nice. you can print and make the final touch totes in the, in the part of the same process. Awesome, that's true. Oh, that's awesome. Well, so we're here at TCT. This is the Creality booth. Uh, it's an incredible booth, a lot of new things coming up. Uh, and what we're here, we're doing here is actually exploring a little bit about the enormous new possibilities that 3D printing are bringing. Uh, we're doing content about it. So make sure to subscribe to our channel and make sure to see the next videos. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.